What is up guys? Welcome to another episode of Skunkers Outdoors. We are just wrapping up the 10 years of River Story series. Um, today we're going to try something a little bit different. Uh, we are going to go out to try to see if we can catch a couple panfish. Uh, I'm going to do a little catch and cook possibly. Uh, hopefully we can try to find some big toothy critters uh, or some big old ditch pickles. We'll see you out there. for that wind. Oh. The wind is pushing me at a drift about anywhere between half to one mile an hour. So we're just trying to catch a couple gills just so I can eat some lunch. And right now we're running uh, just a little pink jig head with a little night crawler on it. Just like that. I'm trying to fish about eight to ten feet of water I'm jumped out right now to about 16 so I got to scoot back in a little bit find some weeds there's 12 feet and some weeds I got a little front coming in it's green, so we'll see how we'll see how long this lasts but if I get two three I'll eat I'm getting pretty hungry already. We got one. We got one. Nice pool. Nice pool. Nice pool. We got another one. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Another nice one. That'll eat. Look at these guys. Perfect eaters. Settle down. Settle down. I'm trying to give you some size comparison here. Perfect little eater, bluegill. Get them in there. Keep them live for a second. Then I might go cruise into this channel. I might go cruise into this channel and try to see if I can get out of the wind and do some little cooking for you guys. Try out my new slab cutting board, the slab 1.0. Oh, that was a uh, seaweed, I think. <laughs> All right. Now. I brought my bag of fun, and I was going to tell you, that right there is the nicest cup I own. That is a slab mug. Burned through a whole bottle of whiskey already. couple cups of coffee and now today we are going to try to cook us some bluegills 
Got some lemon pepper. We got some shore launch. Cajun, of course. Is there any of it, any other flavor? Don't think so. These cups here. Super nice. Got a little carabiner to clip it on to anything. The uh, idea is to take it with you. So nice stainless. I think it's a 10, a 10 ounce cup mug uh, volume wise. And I believe they were like just over five ounces for carrying weight. Um, but they, they're nice to clip on your backpack or whatever you want to use them for. If you're going backpacking or whatever. Um, obviously, if you're going backpacking, you're not going to be grit, uh, bringing a uh, 30 pack of beer with you. So the uh, little, you know, couple, little bottle of whiskey or something like that or some rum. The way to go. And then this right here is the Slab 1.0. Let me show you guys. This thing is nice and thick. It's got, it's hard to see, but it's got little uh, inch markers in here. So it gives you like a good idea of how long of a fish or whatever you're measuring or you're, you're cutting up. Um, it's 12 by 12 when it's folded down. Obviously 24 by 12 when you uh, unfold. So it's a nice big surface space. Um, good for walleye, uh, panfish obviously, and maybe some small pike or something like that, doing some trout. Um, works out perfect so uh, it's got little knurling on it so it's got little grips not so slippery um, fish sliding around and stuff on them uh, today we're gonna try to cook up a couple of these bluegills I just got two didn't want to overdo it uh, and to be honest with you I am having some luck today catching bluegills so pull the plug out of that thing let that drain out I got my Berkeley fillet knife. Take one of these bluegills. Take out one at a time. Slap them down on the board, and like I was saying before with the measuring, so we got, it uh, doesn't have numbers on it, but you can get a good idea. You got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, so these are seven and a half inch bluegills. Nothing huge. Quick put her out of her misery. Stab her in the old brain. Viewer's discretion. Obviously there's still gonna be some nerve endings in this thing. Um, doesn't get much better than this though. Nice fresh bluegills. I'm just gonna do these real quick. Not try to take up too much time. I'm just gonna go right through the rib bones. Take that, flip that fillet over, leave the skin attached to the tail. Oh, drop her in the boat. Make sure you get that top meat up by the head. It's the most the thickest part that a lot of people just leave behind. This meat up here, super thick. It's the best part. I've seen too many videos of these these guys cutting these fish, you know, like straight down. You got to get them at a nice angle. You, I mean, you're not getting anything for the belly meat, so not on a fish like this anyway. Cut the ribs out. Ribs out of there. There's one boneless fillet. Take this one. Cut the ribs out of there. Lost a little meat on that one. That's all right. There's a, oh, took my fillet in there. Two boneless fillets. Gotta get a lighter out of my handy dandy tackle box. Put my sheath on my knife so you don't get cut. Always resheath your knife. Put that away right away. And what we got is a little bit of shore lunch. Cajun, obviously. We're just gonna put those fillets in that bag. Give a little air in it. Actually put a lot of air in it.
people out of here in it. Shake those things around. Get some good coverage. Set that aside. I got a lighter in my tackle box. She's ready. Flip. These are looking good. This is going to be perfect. You just couldn't do better than this right now. What an amazing day. Literally, these things were swimming in water within the last 10 minutes. And thanks to my slab cutting board. We are frying them up. Gonna have them for dinner. Just doesn't get much better than that. Look at that. And all that, guys, is about as fresh as it gets. Put a little lemon pepper on these bad boys. All right, let's try this fish out. Wow. That is so fresh. These things were literally swimming in this water less than 15 minutes ago. Thanks to my slab cutting board. I got her flayed up, thrown in some grease, and down in the belly. Cheers, boys. What? Well, I was reeling this thing in to try to Let me turn that off here. Reeling this thing in to try to get rid of it. Got tangled up in my other pole. We got ourselves a nice little bass. It came up and hit that bait. That little bass. Wow. There we go. See you later, girl. Val always says the pike like it when it's cloudy. Is this cloudy enough for you, Tina? Uh, we're going to take a few casts in a couple spots. And if we don't have any luck, we're going to get the heck out of here. Not, uh, not really looking forward to. We got a nice. Oh, right here! Look at that first cast. Holy crap! Hey, Val, you're right. I guess you're right. I never doubt you again. Never doubt you again, Valentine. One and two. That's how we like them. 28 and a quarter. There she is. For all the value, you weren't wrong about them liking the clouds. <laughs> There's another nice little snot rocket. She's ready. There she goes. All right guys, we're back at the house. All my GoPro batteries died, so I was not able to close out the video. We're back. 
we're dumping footage hopefully gonna do a little bit of editing tonight um, we did manage to get a couple bluegills uh, got those all cooked up out on the boat thanks to my slab 1.0 cutting board the thing was super slick out there um, did end up getting a nice little bass and uh, another little toothy critter got a little pike um, just as soon as the clouds started rolling in and the rain came what do you know thanks pal <laughs> um, hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did give us a thumbs up um, if you want to see more like this leave a comment down below we'll start doing some more vlog style videos um, hope you guys enjoyed and as always catch fish make memories I thought I was having a bad day these guys just lost their entire boat and trailer at the boat landing. <laughs>